Aloha Aina, Kalama Oka Aina Kibia. My name is Dr. Kalama Oka Aina Niko, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Justice for Fallen Elders Coalition. Unfortunately, uh, the Aldens and Elder family will not be able to make it here. They're dealing with some family tragedies while we speak. So I'd like to share a statement that in 2011, 23 year old Tanaka Maoli youth, Colin Elders, was tragically killed by a drunk federal agent by the name of Christopher Dini. After being briefed by a fellow agent, that Kanaka Mali were dangerous and that the word haole in our own native language was the equivalent to the n-word. He replied that he would go everywhere he went in Hawaii with a loaded gun. After a night of drinking and club hopping, he picked a fight with Colin and shot him dead in the heart. It has been seven years and two traumatic trials later only to be faced with the news that this killer is now going to walk free on the technicality. We condemn the, pro the incompetence of Hawaii's prosecutor's office to ignore the pleas of the elders' legal counsel to pursue charges of manslaughter from the very beginning. Charges of reckless manslaughter and wildly, for wildly shooting his gun in a crowded restaurant or the possibility of extreme emotional distress after being revealed as incompetent and a fair fight were never explored. In fact, they were vehemently denied, forming the basis for this claim right now for double jeopardy by the defender. We also complain, we also condemn the crucifixion of Colin in the media. It is a well-established phenomenon now seven years after his death that when indigenous and black youth are killed by law enforcement, that they are treated as criminals rather than the victims that they truly are. As the Ohana once stated, they killed Colin twice, once with a gun and the second time in the media. Uh, the uh, prosecutor's office says that they're going to take this up to the Ninth Circuit and appeal this. Your reaction on behalf of the organization? Well, I. But like the family has said from the very beginning, that they were negligent in their duty of properly and adequately and fully effectively presenting this case. Didi was drunk. It was clearly either uh, reckless manslaughter or extreme emotional distress manslaughter. Kalama, can you share a little bit about what the family is feeling? Have you been in touch with them? Well, at this time, I don't think it's fair for me to share what their current response is because uh, it's, I don't have currently have permission, but I can share what was previously shared with me and the statements that they had said before. And I reiterate that throughout this time, the Colin, uh, Colin Elder's family have, have repeatedly said that this whole experience has been incredibly trauma traumatic for them. That Colin was their voice of their family, and when they killed him, it's like they took away their voice. And this is what you see with Native peoples all the time when you see people of color. When they stand up, when they speak out in situations where other people, other races, where white folks could speak out and act in the same exact ways that they face being killed violently and their killers never see justice.